Okay, guys, how are you? Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, happy Valentine's Day coming up, 2021. We're going to talk about love. Love. That's the thing that makes the world go round. Without love, we wouldn't have God. Cause God is love. He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16. It's a uh, hundred other scriptures you can look at that talk about love. But I want to talk to you about Colossians chapter 3, which describes what love is, and 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the classic love chapter. Uh, we're going to talk about what love is and what love isn't in the next couple of videos on love. Um, I am learning as much as you are. So I'm getting a lot out of this too. Okay, now let's go back to... Uh, the love languages from Dr. Gary Chapman. Everybody knows about the five love languages. Uh, Award-winning book, sold uh, tens of millions of copies in 1992 and forward. Transformed marriages around the world. Five love languages, okay? Uh, quality time, quality touch, uh, words of affirmation, uh, acts of service, and uh, gifts. Love language of gifts. Everybody's got a different love language. I suggest you go to 5lovelanguages.com and take the quiz, find out the update of what your love language is and what your spouse is or what your partner's is, if you have one. If not, when you get one, then find out because you want to be able to speak their love language and you want them to be able to speak your love languages. So anyway, let's start at uh, Colossians chapter 3 where it talks about... Uh, uh, what love isn't in verses 6 through uh, 10, I believe. And then verses uh, 12 through 15, it describes that to start with love is kind, compassionate, full of humility, grace, mercy, tenderness, and goodness. So let's just start there. Um, all right, we know of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that love is patient, love is kind, um, Love is long-suffering. It remembers not a whole list of wrongs. Um, it endures all things, hopes all things, and believes all things. Even when we aren't all of that, it still hopes, it still believes, it stays by your side. Love walks beside you. So can we do the same? Can we operate in forgiveness? Can we operate in the things of love? In Ephesians 5.1, it uh, talks about... Uh, that we should walk in the way that Christ walks, which means uh, in his way of loving, and that when we do walk in the way Christ walks, that God God feels that as a magnificent fragrance. So, a magnificent fragrance that, that, that honors him and blesses him and worships him in obedience when we walk in love, uh, when we operate in forgiveness, in kindness and mercy, in grace, in uh, restoration, in reconciliation, because we serve a God of what? Of restoration. The first ministry being the God of reconciliation, to reconcile man to himself, um, because you know we need it. And he's got the mercy and grace to give us his only son, Jesus, and he proved he loves us. He's got a great and mighty plan for our life. Uh, his mercies are new every day, and ours should be too in our relationships. Um, He's blessed us more than enough. He wants to prosper us. Psalm 1 talks about the blessed man that will prosper. If we look at it, it says his feet should be planted uh, like a tree by the streams of living water, which is the word. So as men, we want to be full of the word. We want to understand the things that love is and love isn't. And we actually want to operate that way. Now, this is, this is for me as much as it is for you. So I hope we're all blessed by it. Let's start there by reading Colossians chapter 3, um, what love isn't and what love is, and then 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and then going back and just meditating on John 3.16. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish. Remember, he gave. So the first thing that love does is give. The next thing we know about Jesus Christ when he gave us Jesus is he serves. So love gives and love serves. Love honors and respects. Remember that the number one thing that a man needs in his relationship and his marriage is what? Honor 
and respect. And the number one thing that a woman needs in her love walk and her relationship is to be loved the way Christ loved the church. That's a tall order for men. Very tall. Not one that I claim to master at all. So we'll leave it at that for starters, and we'll get more into it in the second video. Meanwhile, prepare yourselves for Valentine's Day 2021. Put God first. Understand how much and how thoroughly God loves you. What a great and mighty plan he has for our lives. Give it all to Jesus. Glory to God. See you next time.